So I feel as though I have perfected the everyday carry to the point where if I left my house with just this backpack, I'd be able to accomplish any photo or video shoot that I needed to throughout the day. And if any of my clients called me and needed a photo or video shoot, I could accommodate whatever they need with the gear that's inside of just this backpack. A special thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, but more from them later. Now I joke around over on Instagram, bringing this bucket around with me. I call this my gear bucket. Yes, I put expensive cameras, expensive lenses in here. This is kind of like my overflow so if I know I have a shoot that's going to be a little bit more challenging on my schedule where I need to bring extra equipment it goes inside of this bucket so for example I have things like flashes inside of here sometimes I might need to bring extra remotes extra batteries extra drones so I've got like my air 2s sitting in here I've got like little uh, change at the bottom to try and tighten up tripods and things like that so this is again my gear bucket it's my overflow bucket it's things that I grab off my shelf that I might think I need during the day so typically when I'm out for the day shooting, I'll have my backpack with me everywhere I go. And then my car has the gear bucket inside kind of holding some extras I might need throughout the day. Now, getting back to the bag itself here, I figured a good way to kind of go through what I carry with me is to talk about the actual bag itself and then kind of break down the different sections and layers I have inside of here so you can see what comes with me on the day to day. Now, the bag itself is the Peak Design 30 liter. I swear by this bag. I think I own four total Peak Design bags. I've got their 10 liter sling, their 20 liter everyday bag, their 30 liter everyday bag, as well as their 65 liter duffel pack. So their bags come Come with me anywhere I go they carry most of my things I've tried to switch to different brands I've tried to find other backpacks to see if the grass is greener on the other side but I always come back to the peak design the way that it's built the way that things fit inside of it it really is the perfect bag I mean it is expensive but you do get a lifetime warranty with it I mean I know with my old 20 liter bag I um, actually unthreaded the zipper on the top where the laptop goes and they sent me a brand new one like no questions asked is it here send us the old bag we'll send you a brand new one and that was it. That was the exchange. So super awesome customer support, super awesome bag. This thing goes through hell and back. It definitely does look a little bit beat up, but the zippers are great. The overall build quality is great, but more importantly, the storage inside is awesome. The way that the things fit inside of this bag is great. So the way that I have this bag set up is basically along the top section here is a lot of miscellaneous stuff. And then I have my camera and then I have my drone and the drone is kind of split up into two different sections with like the drone. And then you also have um, batteries and the remote controller. So what I want to do here is kind of go through systematically each of the sections, show you what I bring with me one by one. I'm not going to sit here and unzip everything. Actually, you know what? I know I just kind of gave you a little top down view, but I will just kind of unzip the side here because personally, I think that this is almost like a work of art, how things are tucked in here. So that's the side view of my peak design. Again, I've got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff up, up here, camera, remote controller, as well as my drone and stuff down there. So let's go through here pocket by pocket, pull out the things that I use so you can see what comes with me on a day to day basis. So as far as my drone goes, I think that this should be a no brainer. It is the Mavic 3 Cine with the RC Pro, and then I'm able to fit up to five batteries inside of the bag. The fifth battery is inside of the drone itself. So five total full flights. I could probably fit more batteries inside of the backpack, like in the top section if I needed to. But honestly, with the flight time on this drone and the work that I do on a day to day basis, Basis, five is overkill. I like to bring five with me as like a just in case because there are some days where I'm flying more than others, but the Mavic 3 Cine is a workhorse. It's the drone that comes with me each and every single day. The RC Pro makes flying drones super easy. I can just pull it out, uh, put the sticks in, turn on the remote controller, and then I'm going. I don't have to set up my phone and worry about, you know, uh, draining that battery and getting notifications. So the RC Pro is great. Sunlight is really no problem outside. The screen is bright enough to cut through that. Now, in previous versions of my bag, as I've showed on this channel, I actually used to carry two drones with me. So I'd carry the Mavic 3 as well as the Mini 3. But putting the Mini 3 inside of my backpack basically took away the room to put my camera inside of the bag. So really the way that I looked at it is like, do I want to carry one camera, one drone, or just two drones, and then have to like carry my camera off along the side? So basically, I kind of bit the bullet. I carry one drone with me now, the Mavic 3 Cine. But remember... As I said, uh, I do like to bring my gear bucket with me on basically a daily basis. And inside of here is usually a secondary drone and more batteries. So if I crash, I can go back to my car, get my secondary drone, but we'll knock on wood because usually I don't crash. So Mavic 3 Cine is the drone that comes with me. Should be a no brainer because it's the best on the market. Now in the middle section of my backpack, I have my camera with a lens on it. And then I bring a secondary lens as well. So right now I'm shooting on my Sony A1 with the 12 to 24 on it. Usually that 
that's inside my bag that would be here on the desk here in front of me, but of course I'm shooting on it. So I have my a7 III and 16 to 35 kind of as a placeholder. I also carry around my 24 to 70 here. So really with both of these lenses, I'm covered between wide angle, 12 meters, all the way out to 70 millimeters. And that gives me a huge focal range. So typically if I'm going to be shooting interior photos, any sort of architecture photography, I've got the 12 to 24 on. If I'm doing any sort of vlogging, I like that wide angle look. So I have the lens on. So that really gets me by on my day to day stuff. And then if I need more of like a compressed look, I've got the 12 to 24 to lean back on and to lean back on my gear bucket. Sometimes I'll throw my 70 to 200 inside of here. Yes, it's a big lens for a small bucket, but it does come with me from time to time if I think that I'll need it. But it's cool to see that I can actually fit like this camera inside of the bag and then kind of have the other lens tucked just underneath of it so that I can change up what I need to if I'm going to be shooting throughout the day. And it's also great to have my camera inside of the bag rather than have to like hold it on the capture clip all the time outside or just carry it with me. That was always a pain. Now, before we go any further and move into the miscellaneous things that I carry with me inside of my bag, I want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform that I've personally been using before I even started posting videos to my YouTube channel here six years ago. I first built my portfolio using Squarespace's platform because of their templates that are stylish, functional, and easy to customize. I didn't need to learn how to code, I didn't need any previous experience, and I didn't need to spend an exorbitant amount of money to hire someone to build it from scratch. Instead, I could work at my own pace, add my best photographs, and customize my template to be exactly the way I wanted. In my case, I have a simple design with a black background and minimal text to keep the focus on the images. Squarespace goes even deeper with detailed analytics so I can see who's looking at my website. They even have integrated SEO tools so that I can get my work seen by more people online. And if I choose to do so, I could start an online store right within Squarespace's platform to sell prints, presets, or anything else photography related. So a special thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping me display my work online for over half a decade. Okay, moving into the top flap, the top section of the Peak Design 30 liter bag. This is where I keep the things that I'll just grab on the daily things I need quick and easy access to and things that complement what I do on the daily. So just to kind of do a quick overview here, I've got a pouch with a bunch of tiny little cords and things inside of it. I've got an SD card holder. I've got a MagSafe battery pack, which is like the worst Apple accessory ever made in the history of Apple accessories. I've also got a shotgun microphone, Sony's shotgun microphone. I've got some ND filters for my 12 to 24. I've got an ND filter for my 24 to 70. I've got a backup camera, my Sony a7C, and I've also got some battery banks from Shargear. Okay, so looking at everything here top down, first of all, I've got to call out kind of like my SD card holder here. This thing here has been great because it holds a total of I don't even know how many, like 64 SD cards, but regardless, the organization is great. I'm able to kind of go through here, keep all the cards I use on a daily. So this has been awesome. I don't even know, know who makes it, JJC, but regardless, this has been in my bag for like years and years. People are probably going to call me out for just literally leaving my ND filter loose inside of my bag, but I do. I throw it inside of my bag just like this. It hasn't scratched up. It still works well. I pull it out. I just clean it off on my shirt and get going and get shooting. So I found that like most ND filter cases are big and take up a lot of room. So this now just goes inside of my bag caseless. It's been totally fine. I also carry around this Sony a7C. This is my backup camera. I mean, you never know with the A1 or with any camera when something is going to go wrong, whether uh, your shutter breaks, whether the you know, screen breaks, whether something goes wrong inside of the camera, you don't want to be on a shoot and be left to say, Hey, I have to leave. Like I have to go somewhere to buy a new camera or I have to go get my second camera. So this thing is small enough that it can just fit right in that top section. It is a full frame camera. It's got the flip out screen, 24 megapixel photos, 4k video, 30 FPS. So this is like a great backup camera. It's also a great secondary camera. So if I'm going to be shooting a, you know, uh, two setup, uh, uh, a two camera shoot, I can have both cameras rolling, my A1 and my A7C. So that's now op, um, allows me to do those two camera angles. So this is great as a backup, but also as a B cam. <laughs> the MagSafe battery is like, in my opinion, just totally worthless. It's great for those times where I need to slap it on the back and get a little bit of juice as like a just in case. But really the main batteries I use are from Shargear here. So they actually sent me these two batteries. And the reason I wanted to work with them right off the bat is because they look cool. I mean, they kind of have this see-through look to them. You can actually see the components and electronics inside. The little battery pack here is good for like plugging my phone into, throwing in my pocket. It's a little bit more lightweight. But if I need to charge drone batteries, if I need to charge my laptop, my 
iPad, anything like that, I can use this larger battery pack here. And it also has a screen on it. And the screen is cool because it shows you some statistics and information about the battery, but it also shows you information like how much wattage is being pulled or how much wattage is going into the actual power bank. So you can monitor all those things, which is something that the nerd inside of me loves. Um, also, in terms of audio, because I'm always recording audio, whether for myself or whether for my clients, I've got the shotgun mic here. This Sony shotgun mic is great because you don't have any wires with it. It just kind of plugs right onto the camera and you're recording. So you don't need to actually plug in a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. But really, the main audio source are the DJI mics that I keep inside of this pouch here. So this pouch is kind of like a catch all for a lot of my smaller things. I did actually have the DJI mics sitting inside of their own little case, but I figured that it just got way too annoying to have to go and find that one little case for just the mics. So now inside of this actual pouch, I've got some chargers. I've got some other cables I need on the regular USB-C cables, Apple watch charger, lightning cables, MagSafe charger, things like that. A little cloth to kind of polish down, um, you know, a screen or a lens or anything that I need to, but I've got all of my audio equipment in here as well. So I've got two sets of the DJI mics. There are some times where I need to mic up more than just two people. So I've got the ability to mic up a total of four people if necessary. I've also got some lav mics in here. So these are from Rode. Those are like the um, microphones that you plug into the receiver or into the transmitter of the DJI mic. So you can put that inside of the person's pocket. I've also got some windscreens. I've got some uh, wired headphones, some earbuds just to kind of monitor audio as I'm shooting. So again, this is like all of my main audio equipment inside of this small little pouch. And it's great because I can also combine some other smaller components like some chargers and some other cables. And again, it all fits inside of this small little peak design tech pouch. So again, these are like the miscellaneous things that go in the top. It's things I grab for all the time. I've also got some ND filters for my 12 to 24, but this is the miscellaneous stuff that makes up that top compartment of the 30 liter peak design. Now on the side flaps here, peak design does also have some pouches. I don't use any of the pouches over on this side because my typical workflow is to put the bag on its side like this and then grab what I need. So my camera handles right here, my drones right here, my remote. So basically these are the only flaps that I use and kind of the way that I set them up is like little camera stuff is in the top here. So right now I have some extra batteries. So these are like where my extra Sony batteries live. It's cool because this is magnetic. So it kind of snaps closed, keeps everything inside. And in this bottom compartment that is closed with a zip, these are just like my Mavic 3 ND filters. So I've got two sets of the ND filters here. I've got a range of ND4 all the way up to ND512. So really anything I need is covered by these ND filters. So yeah, that's a little side pouch here. And I kind of put miscellaneous stuff that goes with what's in the main section here on the side. And now for the final compartment at the top side of the backpack, which is the laptop sleeve, which of course houses my laptop. So I've got the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch. I don't foresee myself ever needing another computer because this thing is so good and so fast. Unless this thing kicks the bucket, it's got all the ports I need. It's got all the power that I need. It's got the screen size that I need. So this has been a true workhorse. And finally, Apple's made a laptop where I haven't been just wanting them to finally come out with the next version to fix something. This like is perfect in my opinion for everything I need. I've also got an iPad mini here as well. What's great about this is it's cellular so I can pull off of it as a hotspot if I need to, but also it's just good as like another larger screen to use. Uh, if I need to sign documents, I've got the, you know, Apple pencil here. So this is good to live inside of sort of like the tablet sleeve. Then finally, I've got some hard drives. So these, uh, one is for client work. One is for personal YouTube stuff. This is just good to kind of be like a catch all for anything that I'm working on. I don't want to fill up the like four terabyte drive I have inside of here. So it's good to kind of throw all the projects I'm working on on here and separate them between client stuff and personal and YouTube stuff. And then miscellaneous stuff, of course, I've still got some dongles lying around. I do have a USB-C to SD card dongle. Sometimes I'm trying to offload two SD cards at once. So I'll actually go dongle in one side and then plug in the SD card. And then also, you know, just in case I have some USB-C to USB-A dongles in case someone has an old peripheral. I've got an AirTag. I've also got a wrench here for my Peak Design tripod. And that's pretty much it. That is everything that comes inside of the laptop sleeve here in the Peak Design bag that I carry the 30 liter. So this all right here is everything that comes with me on a daily basis and helps me achieve absolutely any situation I'm put into. I could shoot a vlog. I could shoot a review. If a client needed a headshot, I could capture a headshot. If someone needed real estate photography done, I could do that. If someone needed, you know, a high level marketing video, I could mic them up. I have two camera angles. I've got everything I need here, really honestly, and more. And of course, I've got my trusty gear bucket to fall back on in case 
case I need anything else. So that is everything inside of my gear bag here as we move into 2023. I feel like if there's any new drones that come out, I'll probably switch out the drone. Uh, I feel like if there's any new gear in terms of cameras that come out, I might also switch up the camera. But other than that, everything is really set in stone. And I don't know if I'd be swapping anything out because everything like, like I'm at the point where everything is like so good that I'm not like, ah, yeah, that microphone is is good, but I wish I had that one. Like I'm at a point now where I feel like every piece of gear works for me perfectly and I don't need any more, which is kind of weird because I feel like my gear acquisition syndrome has kind of been cured. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was, you know, insightful and gave you some tips as to maybe what you can add to your everyday carry. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.